Yeah. Hi, Tara. How are you? I'm doing okay. You sound good, Dad. Well, I'm trying. You thinking about um? You, what, are you thinking about good things keep your spirits up? Well, I'm mixed right now. I've got some things that are not too bad. I got some things that are bothering me a little bit. Okay. So I, c I can't talk real much. I got somebody with me. Well, but they... Oh, you have some. You have company in the room. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't that. He just, uh, he's, he's always good with me. Uh, Mitron or whatever you call that stuff. Medicine? Yeah. They gave me some more of that uh, stuff over the day, too. Okay. I was kind of surprised how much they gave me. Okay. I didn't like that too much. Okay. Um, I, I your brother and your sister are, are really thinking about you a lot lately. Is there anything you want to tell them? Um, I'm thinking a lot of them. I know that, and I'm really, I'm a little bit scared, scared, Tara. I just feel a little bit uh, sore with what I'm dealing with here. That's understandable. Yeah. I had a feeling like something's wrong here. So I don't know. Is that... Did you talk to the nurses at Fountainhead? I, is that the name of it? I can't even remember. Yeah, that's where you live. Okay. Well, no, right now I'm just in the, the one for... UW Hospital. UW Hospital, yeah. But um, I didn't really enjoy it here that much. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're, um, is there anything you want to tell your brother right now? I haven't heard anything from him recently. Well, what would you like to tell him? Oh, I love him a lot. I'm really concerned for him. And uh, it's just been kind of hard. Yeah. And I I feel like they were trying to get me with uh, what I felt like, you know, when they did this stuff to me in the last couple of days. They've been doing tests on you? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And it kind of, kind, of, kind of bothered me. Oh, I can imagine. I'm sure it was not comfortable at all. Yeah. That's for sure. I guess I'm going to get some reduction on it, but I don't know exactly how the whole thing's going to get the job done. Okay. I'm still kind of listening to them and hearing what they're going to do about the whole thing. Yeah. Have you heard about the worldwide pandemic? Oh, from a couple of weeks ago. So. Yeah, it's still going on, though. Yeah, it is. That's for sure. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe you already had it since you were sick. Who knows? <laughs> it's possible. I don't like the way they treated me, though. felt like I was really kind of, you know, kind of sewered me with this whole thing, the way it all went down the shit. When you said you don't At like who end. was treating you, who was it that you're talking about? All the people that are here. At the hospital? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you just get there yesterday? Yeah, I got there yesterday. Okay. What is it I that you don't, don't like? Um, uh, they seem to be kind of like uh, always looking for the fast hand kind of thing. It seems like.
make it like that. Can you give me an example? Well, I think um, they never got me any change or anything like that. I thought I'd get some change, you know, stuff to have for treat and stuff. Never got anything at all. And I've never met this, I never met this place before. So I was kind of uh, really concerned about what I was going into, going to, in this location. Okay. I think I would have a hard time walking here and staying here. It's only supposed to be for a short while. That's what Carol, Carol's message said. It was just for a short time. Hmm. You're supposed to have a surgery tomorrow to have a stint put in your heart. Wow. Oh, boy. What time is it tomorrow? I don't know. Seems kind of odd, too. They never told me anything about it up to the end. You know, when they finally said all that stuff to me about it. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah, it is. Remember that surgery that you had 10 years ago? <coughs> For your heart? Oh, well, I've had them. So I know what I'm dealing with when it gets to that type of situation. Yep. That's what you're you're supposed to be going through. Yep. Yeah. And I didn't get hardly any food here either. Oh no. Just got a little I had a little something, but I didn't eat very very much. I can call back and order more food for you, tell the nurse to order something. Would you like that? If I had her order like a hamburger? Um, I was wondering if I could get, um, um, uh, well, I'm probably going to go to bed. I think I'm going to have a hard time sleeping. What would you like to eat? I had some, uh, what do you call that stuff? Mac with cheese or whatever. Yeah. But what would you like to have them order? I don't know. I don't like his food either. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to say to Michael right now? Oh, I miss him so much. It's times like this when you really feel, you know, like something's happening to you and it's tough. I don't know what to say. Yeah. You know, Two Shoe loves you so much, though. The little guy. He just, when he, yeah. his ears go up when he, when I say grandpa, <laughs> the dog, <laughs> he thinks you're so cool. He loves you. <laughs> yeah. He likes listening to your stories and getting your treats. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much to eat either. It's all like pre-made stuff, you know, it just doesn't taste that great. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. And they were, they were here, uh, people were making fun of me all night. They were making fun of you? Making fun of me. Why? I don't know. I don't get it either. And I asked for just like three or four uh, phones, you know. Um, I want some things to have here tonight, but I don't know. I just couldn't get into it that much. You mean you wanted something to eat that you would like? Not real big eat, but I would like some more. I'm kidding. <laughs> But I don't know if I really want much of his stuff either. 
Okay. Um, did, could you ask the nurse for something to help you sleep? Actually, even like a piece of something. Like a piece of what, Dad? Um, what's that type of stuff I like? Um, you uh, like, like, uh, Snickers bars, hamburgers, um, you like, ch um, chicken nuggets and pizza? Yeah, that would taste good. Okay. A couple of things like that. You I'm don't... shaking really bad right now. You're shaking really bad? Yeah, I'm really shaking. What is it that you need right now? <laughs> I wish I had you and I wish I had Tara. Yeah. No, this is Tara. Really this is Tara. I know it is. I know it's Tara. Yeah. My eyes talked about going to my mother too. Yeah. They have a real they have a real hold on the on the hospitals. They're not letting other people in who they're making it difficult to go visit people right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because there's the virus that's really contagious, so Tushu hears your uh, voice right now, though. He likes hearing your voice. Oh, he does. Oh. How you doing, Gary? <laughs> this is going to be my third uh, day, too, that I haven't gone to one of those stuff at... Uh, at your house? No. Uh, that famous stuff I like to watch on Saturday night. Oh, Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live, you know. I really miss it. But the Saturday Night... It's only Thursday, Dad. Is it? Yeah, so you're in luck. I don't know. I, may, I might need someone to help me. get. <sighs> yeah. You have two more nights to go. Yeah. Including this one. So, yeah, you're going to be okay. I hope so. I hope you can maybe take me to get some of those things if you, if you have some money. I know it's going to be kind of hard. Okay. Uh, I will see what I can do. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'll Could you get me to, um, to Tara? Yeah. And get, get me to, uh, the, my person that I love, my I miss him a lot. You talking about your like brother? This. What's that? Who you, who, who you talking about? Oh, I just feel like I want to be with my mom. Your mom? Yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. So I feel kind of sad like that. Yeah. You and your mom had a really good connection didn't you? Yeah, we did. She was pretty cow. She knew just what to feed you and just what to play for you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and she was always on your side, wasn't she? She was. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about this place that I just don't quite understand. I'm just going to say right it might be that there's just so many patients in the hospital right now that pe that the people working are overworked and they're tired and um, they're not thinking cr as well as they could have under normal circumstances. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's already been like um, thousands of people in the United States who have died from this disease or this um, this the COVID-19. Sure. I didn't even know that before. Cold vent 19, it's called? Um, they call it the coronavirus, but the abbreviation oh, is... Yeah. 
is a COVID-19. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Um, yeah, like literally your the Fodenhead Homes was in quarantine and I wasn't even uh -huh. allowed to come in. You weren't? No. Really? Yes, I'm telling the truth. When when did this happen? Over a week ago. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. But I'm, really thought about it. but I'm just saying because it's better for you to know so that you understand what's going on around you. Uh-huh. Because else this could be really confusing. I think I would be really confused if no one said anything to me about it. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of people coming in now. Okay. Is it possible to uh, call me with to my mother? Because I don't have her um, thing. What is, what is, you probably have it, don't you? Uh, Dad, um, your mom, is your mom oh, alive? she's gone. Yeah, that's right. She's dead. She's dead. Oh, brother. They were pretty upset at me with yesterday. Who's they? What's that? Who, who is they? Who is, who is mad at you? The, pe the people that were here. At the hospital? I just, yeah, I just felt like it was just strange. I bet just it was. It reminded me of, yeah, it just reminded me of, uh, I don't know. Is it possible to get me to um, the one that's on my hat or what do you call that thing? That you get a hold of them with somebody? Who do you want to get a hold of? Well, this would be the one, other one. They call them. Who is it that you want right. to get a hold of, Dad? That would, that would be the one that's going to be on the... I just, I just want to have someone on my side when I try to... I don't know. I don't know what to say. Who, who are you looking for? My grandmother or my mother. R right, but... They're not alive. They're not alive anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess they're in, uh, to the north here a little bit. Who is that? That's, that's where the place is, uh, has, uh, they have the stuff for this place. But I just, I don't, I don't like what I like here. It's just really bothering me. Okay. Because they were trying to drag me and stuff. And they wouldn't even, uh, what would I say? That they don't, they weren't very friendly to me. Oh. That's and not a like good pick, feeling at all. They, they were like picking on me. It was just awful. Oh no. Yeah. So I don't know. This is gonna be tough tomorrow. I think. I think I'm gonna be here a couple of days, at least. Hopefully, you'll have some um, more staff who make you feel more welcome. I hope so too. Yeah. Yeah, but if you do have her phone number, you know, you could. Whose phone number? You don't, you don't know how to get to it, huh? Who are At you all. talking about? Well, she's not dead. Who is it? Not, not, not the one that's, um, oh, brother, I can't believe it. You're talking this. about the piano player, Marine? 
kind of, I guess. Okay. But they're, they're, she's not alive anymore. You're talking about Gra uh, your your mother, Arlene. Yeah. Yeah, she's not alive anymore. Yeah. Yeah, if she can give me a call tomorrow, I guess that would be nice. Wow, well, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I'll, I'll call, I'll, I'll hang up with you now and I'll call back to talk to your nurse. Maybe they can give you something for your sleep tonight. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need it, I think. Okay, I think that's a good idea. All right. Okay. Talk to you Appreciate soon. It. Yep, bye-bye. Yep. Goodbye.